While the MCU has had its ups and downs in terms of TV, there will always be people who want to see the next part of the universe. But with the decision to bring the Inhuman royal family to ABC, people seem to be turned away more than ever. And today we're going to take a look at why bringing the Inhumans to TV probably wasn't the best idea. Hey, I'm Tim, and this is Hybrid Top 5. Number 5. Relative Obscurity one of the benefits of MCU TV is that they can feature characters who otherwise wouldn't make it into their big films. But even with that said, having the headliners of the series be the Inhumans likely won't be the biggest draw for people. They're too important to be street level and relatable, but too unknown to draw the audience that they would need to compensate for that. With other popular superhero-based shows like Arrow, The Flash, or Supergirl, at least the target audience now would have been young enough to see these characters featured on shows like Smallville and Justice League Unlimited. But in terms of effect on outside media, the Inhuman Royal Family have only ever had minor guest spots on various shows, and even with the carryovers from Inhumans appearing on Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., it doesn't work out quite as well since none of those characters are featured here so you can't even get a Legends of Tomorrow type situation with it. And things like this limit the amount of people who would be interested in the show, outside of the passionate but small existing Inhumans fanbase. Number 4. The IMAX Decision In theory, shooting the series in IMAX was an interesting idea, but in the long run, what will it add? The effects of this series really don't work well on the big screen, let alone a bigger one. The deal that Marvel and ABC made with IMAX just doesn't seem worth it. Especially with it only making 2.6 million in its opening weekend. And with the promotional material for this series turning away people on its own, really only diehard MCU fans would want to pay IMAX prices to see a cut down version of what they could see free for home in less than a month. If Marvel wanted the Inhumans to be in theaters, they really should have just committed to it and made the movie of it. Number 3. Progressive Decline in Quality While Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. started off mixing audiences upon its release, Marvel had built up some good faith with its next two TV outings of Daredevil and Jessica Jones. But as noted with many fans and critics, shows like the recent Iron Fist have not brought in the same quality of hits. And Defenders also doesn't seem to have the same praise as past successes. And with the buzz around in humans, this could be the point where people start dropping off of new MCU TV series. Which could end up being harmful to upcoming series like Cloak and Dagger and The Runaways, due to it seeming like Marvel TV's endeavors are progressively declining in quality. After the critical response to Iron Fist, Marvel really needed something to show a turnaround, and The Inhumans just doesn't seem like it's it. Number 2 too big for the small screen. The Inhumans are an entire race of extraordinary people, each with a unique appearance or power, which doesn't really translate well to a network TV budget. You can already see the problems and effects works that caused by this, and you can really see how they try to work around this even in just the first two episodes. Minor spoilers ahead for the premiere, but they take out Lockjaw pretty early on, remove Medusa's hair, and remove the entire royal family from Adelon in favor of putting them in Hawaii. And all of this points towards the production staff realizing that they couldn't make this concept work for TV. The production so far is relatively cheap looking and it hurts the overall atmosphere of the show. Maybe if they were a cable or streaming series they could get away with the budget they needed to make this work, but for now, like the royal family in Hawaii, its placement just doesn't fit. Number 1. Even ABC has problems with it. With any show, there's going to be pushback from the network for what they want it to be. But ABC seems to just be the relative quality of the show. According to Variety, Early on, ABC had concerns with the special effects of early cuts and underpinned scripts, and this seems to have caused a decent amount of contention between them and Marvel. The way they talk about it, it seems that Marvel wasn't bringing their A-game to this project, and it will likely end up hurting both them and ABC. The Inhumans TV series just overall seems like a misstep for Marvel on TV. But what do you guys think? 
Do you see any other problems with the Inhumans TV series, or do you think it will surprise us? Welp, as always, let us know down in the comments. And until next time, this has been Tim from the Hybrid Network, and this is Hybrid Top 5.